See, when I lose weight, I look emaciated. This one told me that. I'll get down to 240 and she says, all right, Louisiana Beer Reviews, I'm skinny, all right, I lost 30 pounds. But where are the... <laughs> Caught him in the middle of a conversation. We're doing a beer here that's a mystery beer. Maybe you can help me with this. Okay, I'm at the Therns yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of a famous craft beer store between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. The manager tells me, hey, you want to buy this beer? I'm like, I don't know what it is. He said, well, the label fell off and I can't sell it. He said, but I think it's Southern Prohibition Lazarus. I said, I'm thinking he may be right. He said, well, you could have it for $2. And I said, okay, and I think it's more than $2 with the label on it, right? Uh, yeah, I think Lazarus was running close to $10. $10? $8.99. But I looked this up on the website, on the internet, and photos, and it did not have the same plastic label. It had a glitter gold, like glitter gold top. Uh, and it was so a this, black and gold. This baby Regina barrel age. Thing. It did not have this red. This is red. This is that's a bulk of water. He insisted that it was a, a. He said, "What's the name of that company? Southern Baptist something." I said, "What?" I said, "Southern Prohibition." Really? Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Well, we'll be able to tell by four. So thank you for this Bell's bottle opener. It's a gift. If I can get it to work. You might need to take out a knife and cut the plastic if you have a knife. Yes, folks, they're doing their compressor air blowing. They do that constantly all day. I need to let me to uh, I think it's starting to come. Yeah. Some way they have a special opener with this stuff. Thank you. We'll put this away before somebody gets hurt. All right. Okay. Want that okay, so I got it. What they're doing is they're working on an old, like, 1975 El Camino. And they're, like, constantly blowing out the engine and with that spray. It's like this ongoing, endless car project. That doesn't look like a porter. No, it's amber. It looks like a quad. Hey, isn't this supposed to be a quad? Isn't the uh, Lazarus a quad? Yes. Maybe Lazarus. It may, it may be, I think there's a Lazarus and then a barrel uh, series that they put out. Well, it's a quad. That's a Belgian style. Yeah. And I think it's like 10%, right? Letters. Well, let's guess. Um, folks, if you're watching and you know what this is, let me know because I have no... Real good idea, except that the manager Heavy said. Heavy caramel. Mm -hmm. So it's a beige head and a reddish brown appearance, huh? Like brick red? Or is that. No, or like tan. Their, their, uh, their red beer, which they call a fire ant. Same color. Mm -hmm. Tan. Something reddish. I'm getting heavy yeah. caramel out of it. And these little tight bubbles ascending, and I see a lot of. Tan sediment. So you're, you're thinking this is that quad ale? Yeah. I think whatever it is, it was a deal of the day for two dollars a bottle. Wait a minute, this must be the barrel aged. I smell bourbon oh. barrels. It tastes like it. Yeah. It's definitely barrel aged. Mm -hmm. You did get a deal. That's more is that expensive. The barrel age is going up to 15, 16 a bottle, I do believe. So it's definitely aged and smells like some kind of whis whiskey or, like you say, some kind of liquor barrels. It's a quad. <clears throat> it's caramel. Well, it smells sweet. It's aged. I don't know how old it is. There's no date. I could not find a date. You're well, bourbon. I'm not getting bourbon. Only thing I found on here was at the bottom of the bottle. So it may have faded. No, there's nothing. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing that says where the bottle was produced at. No. Not even a state stamp, like the old Coke bottles. Who's no. that? And the bottom of the cap is, oh. is, and the cap is just black. So there's no indication. It smells pretty good. If you like bourbon barrels, maybe you can look it up, Southern Prohibition, see if they have a, a beer with this plastic cap. It's supposed to look like wax, but it's not really wax. It's plastic. Yeah, it's like a maker's mark color. 
How about the taste? So that's probably why they use that red plastic, make it look like Maker's Mark. It's sweet, kind of bready on the floor now. Sweet, bready, you can taste kind that like liquor. Raisin, raisin bread a little bit. Raisin. No, no cinnamon, no, just raisin bread. Raisin, an underlying liquor barrel. Plum. Plum. Like, not plum. Spice, dark bread, almost like fruitcake. Yeah. Dark bread. The yeah. body is not too heavy, it's sort of like high, medium. It's got a lot of alcohol, though. A lot of alcohol. Kind of a dry finish. I've had two sips off of it. Now. Cool. So what do you think the ABV, would you guess what it is? This is 10. Damn, sure. so At least 10? Yeah. This is a 10 for sure. You got a deal for $2. He was walking around with that thing for like two days, two different days. I saw him walking around with this bottle. And yesterday I said, what are you going to do with that bottle? Well, he said, I, I told you, you could buy it for $2. I said, I just don't know what it is. But OK, I figured I'd take the risk for $2. Heck. Well, we take a we take a risk every day when some, some of these craft beers <laughs> come out that claim to be something or not. We take risk every day when it comes to yeah. new, I'll new uh, old labels coming back by new companies. We say an A. Most excellent? Oh yeah, definitely. This mm -hmm. is this is a quad. Yeah. This is a Do you like the barrel age treatment? I can you know what? I, I could I could take a leave it. Yeah, uh, I'm in not some a cases big, I'm not a big in some fan cases of that. for you know, like old Rasputin. I prefer a regular old Rasputin yeah. to the barrel age Rasputin. Uh, some cases I, I don't I don't like all that liquor flavor inside of my beer. I like it just pure beer. <laughs> my problem is more with the wood flavor. Just something to me about beer with that wood flavor doesn't taste right. Now if it's whiskey or brandy and it has the wood flavor, it, it seems so appropriate, you know. But, right. but with the beer it just tastes, it's like why does this beer taste woody? But other people adore it. They love it. They love barrel age. Okay, I understand it. I get it. But to me I don't, I don't go for it. But this is fine. I can live with that. Um, this is delicious. It's got all those things you said, the raisin, the plum. And it's got some, some carrot in it that's just kind of falling off. I don't know what it is. It's probably old. This thing could be who knows how old. I don't guess that would matter well, if it was thing, a real... If it's 10%, it doesn't matter. You nah, if it was a real hoppy well. beer, you... I've seen some of those guys online. Want that, some more? Absolutely. That, um, and this lady, you want some more? Mm, I'm good. That saved these things for four and five years. Um, Princess Greg saved um, the job. Was it a job down from? Um, well, I'm aging some beers right now. But I aged a beer that job out for four or five years from uh, Santa Fe, and I heard some folks say, "Don't, don't do that because it sours the beer." But apparently, apparently to him, it was, it was excellent. So, again, I'm falling back on the adage that everyone's palate is different. If you want to experiment, age in something any way you feel, go right ahead. In some cases, that's an experiment that other folks might think is a good idea. And I they aged, want to see what it's about. I aged one of those beers for five years, from 2012 to 2017, and it tasted kind of gross. So my advice on that one was don't do it. Now I've got four others that I'm aging right now. Old Foghorn, mm -hmm. uh, Old Rasputin, mm -hmm. Bigfoot, and I think another Bigfoot, and a, and a Santa Claus. We have. Hey, Bigfoot well, you know. Last year. I All right. I didn't get Bigfoot this year. I'm, I'm going to say A. A solid A. Y'all are in agreement? Yes. Anything else? You looking something up? I wouldn't give it a world class, but no. a, a, a slight tinge over A. So you're saying A plus, yes. outstanding. I think it's an outstanding experience. World class to me is above an A plus. Right. It's like above a hundred, and I've had. I, very I think few. this is above an A. Okay, so you're saying A plus. I'm saying A. It might be the wood that's throwing me. And it throwing is. There's a little wood taste in it. A little cherry yeah. taste. No, it's you're saying A. I said wood. So A or A plus, and what's you say, well, what's the purpose of this video? I don't even know what it is. Well, the purpose of the video is, can you identify it? Because I'd love to know. So if you ever see this, whatever this is, 
buy it, especially if a manager of a store says you can get it for $2, right? Well, with Hattiesburg being so close to us, and it's probably local, it's definitely craft, I would call it. He claimed it was, but he said it was Lazarus, and I'm not sure about that. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Okay, we'd have to look up and see what Lazarus is. Lazarus. I looked it up yesterday. Was burned, okay, go. Go. All right, thank you for watching this video production. Y'all come on down to Southeastern. Louisiana.